review for you. This time it is covering the KAK Shockwave Blade 2.0. It is a AR pistol stabilizing brace. I just picked one up for a build that I'm doing. And it is said to be able to work with a standard carbine buffer tube. Um, this one and the SBA3 are the only two that I know of that do work with a carbine buffer tube. And I just want to point out that it does fit, but there are some differences. So you have your standard carbine buffer tube, you have the circles for the adjustment on the stock. The KAK tube that comes with it is um, identical on the outside here, but if you look at the center, it's actually has these little circles or notches, kind of oval shapes inside, and it's a slot that goes in, and that's because if you look inside here, it's not a circle, it's actually, pull it down here, it's actually kind of a slotted blade that locks it into place. Now, this does, here's the standard carbine buffer, this does slide on the carbine buffer, but that slot is too wide to actually go into any of the slots in there. So it doesn't actually lock into place. It slides around. So it does actually fit, but it doesn't lock. Where if you put it here on the KAK tube that comes with it, it slides into there, and then you get a pretty good fit. And you can adjust it for length. And it locks in. So, those are kind of the differences between them. And so it will fit on the carbine tube, but it doesn't lock in place securely. So, I will probably be running the KAK tube, and also that will help distinguish between my pistol lower and a carbine or rifle lower, because you won't be able to put a regular stock onto this tube. It just, it'll just slide right on and off. So, I kind of like that that's a little bit different. So, there you have it. The Blade 2.0.